So if I move farther apart and I find that per meter square I have got only 10 lines, what happens? I, I immediately presume that it is it is 10 Newton per coulomb and I'll be correct. I'll be correct in in finding out the magnitude and, and, and it can be measured that the magnitude will be only that. Fine. So, so it is the number of lines, electric field lines per unit area, which represents the, which represents the magnitude now and the direction is given by the arrow on the electric field line. Okay, does the information about the electric field remains intact even if the information about the electric field remains intact even if we represent it by lines the magnitude is equal to electric field lines per unit area and direction is shown by the arrow on the line. Okay. The arrow on the line. And as we have discussed earlier, suppose it would have been a negative charge, say minus Q, then the field would have been radially inwards and it would be represented like, like this. Okay. So this is the field representation of, of the single charge. This being the negative charge minus Q and this being the positive charge plus Q. Right? Right? So this is the concept of electric field lines. 